day three and I just got done running errands and picking up some essentials getting some good food I went to Mo's picked up some queso you can't even see the name um, and then I went to go check out this restaurant that one of my co-workers told me about called Cairo's and so I'll show you guys what that Mediterranean bowl looks like if you've watched the other vlogtobers then this is not new to you it's very true to you sweetheart but yes I'm loving this color from as I am got to show y'all in the light um, it's a copper color um, I tried to get some more in Walmart but they didn't have any so I'm gonna have to go figure out where to get that but it turned out good. So I'm on my way home and I have a lot of planning to do. It is going to be a pretty long evening so I'm prepared to stay up tonight and then I have to prepare for work tomorrow as well but the good news is that I get off early so I will be able to just kind of chill and breeze through uh, the rest of the week so I'm not mad at it can't complain about it just not going to we're not inviting that energy into this space but I hope that you guys are loving the series so far this is very different for me one if you don't know I am a videographer I specialize in video production and vlogging is something that's very new. Um, I used to have a vlog, a blog, excuse me, um, where I would just write on my website. But yeah, being on camera is a completely different ball game when it comes to vlogging. I mean, I do it as a profession, and I, you know, I'm, I'm the one that's on the other side. So now that it's me, I'm just like, oh my god, like, what do I do? Like, what do I talk about? What do I come on here and say? So that has been like one of the biggest things that I've had to really like work through with Vlogtober, which is why I chose to do Vlogtober this year. First of all, being on YouTube consistently was a goal of mine for two years. And it just has not happened. I have just been too busy. My client projects picked up uh, just different spaces needed me for different things and I just didn't have the energy or the capacity so I'm excited to see how this experience goes for me I feel like I need to make a video about things that I have learned so far about vlogging let me know if that's a video y'all would be interested in because I'm telling you like as a videographer like someone who does video as a profession it is like two different worlds. It really, really is. And on the outside looking in, you wouldn't necessarily think so, which is why I was like, oh, like, you know, eventually I'll get into vlogging and I'll do those things more because, I mean, I do this naturally, but it really can be pretty tough. So I'm very excited to kind of see like, my vlogs progression from like vlogtober day one to 
literally whenever this ends because I had to chalk it up, y'all. I could not do every single day. It just wasn't happening. <laughs> So yeah, I am on the way home. I'm excited to relax. I'm excited to eat. Um, I'll probably do a few more things on camera before I call it for this Vlogtober. But I just would love to know you guys' feedback so far on the vlogs and if there is anything that you guys would like to see more of. Uh, I definitely have some things that I wrote out that I would like to kind of plan out and show you guys. Like I'd love to show you guys some behind the scenes of some of the creative like challenges and works that I'll be doing um, based on just like my videography and things like that. Um, definitely planning with me because I'm I'm getting big into planning. I am a go with the flow, spur of the moment type of girl, but nothing beats sitting down and writing out what my goals and my plans are for the week. So 